Welcome to the Co-Readathon vlog. This vlog is going to focus on the life challenges of the Co-Readathon, which are make a Korean recipe and watch a Korean film or drama. For our recipe, we have decided to do barbecue bulgogi, which we are a little nervous about. And I say we, but let's be honest, my boyfriend is going to probably do most of the cooking. But I also wanted to share a super cool thing that happened today. Yesterday, we bought the majority of the ingredients that we needed. There is a Asian market store that we go to, which honestly I thought was the only one that we had. My town is not very big. I wouldn't say it's a city, which is why I don't like to call it a city. It's more of a town. So I thought we only had one Asian market store here, but today, we ran out of time for the regular market that we go to. They closed at six. So my boyfriend on a whim was like, we'll just look up Asian market and see if any other place is open because we still needed a few things that we hadn't been able to find. We found this other market and we went in and while I was super shocked that it wasn't necessarily an Asian market, it was specifically a Korean market which I didn't know we had because the other market is more of a mixture of different Asian countries and foods and things that people would need but this other market was specifically all Korean products it was a Korean store which I thought was really really cool I didn't know we had it so I decided I would do a little haul on the things that we bought at the market I bought some metal chopsticks I recently bought some fiberglass ones on Amazon and I love them they're pretty pastel colors but I saw these at the market and I was like yes I want some metal ones I'm not super like good using chopsticks but I'm practicing we're hoping to visit South Korea in the future and not just South Korea but like other Asian countries as well and I know like chopsticks are very common there so I would like to be able to use chopsticks better my boyfriend got these chips which this brand I know does a lot of ramen and my boyfriend absolutely loves them I'm pretty sure this is the brand that we used in the my boyfriend interviews me video where i was dying and i only took like five bites of that ramen i'm pretty sure this was the brand but they have these chips my boyfriend loves spicy things loves them so this was like the jackpot for him we also bought rice wine at that market because that is an ingredient that we need for the barbecue bulgogi that we couldn't find anywhere else we went to walmart and technically it said it was in stock but then once we got there they actually didn't have it he also bought this hot chicken flavor sauce which this is the sauce that goes in the ramen because again my boyfriend is obsessed with super spicy things and he loved the sauce so now he can put it on anything and we also bought which i was very excited we bought two bottles of soju <laughs> i'm not much of a drinker not gonna lie i don't like the taste of most alcohols i don't like the taste of beer if i'm gonna have something alcoholic it better be mixed like i'm a mixed drink scowl because I need something to cover up the actual taste of the alcohol so I'm a little nervous he got a regular soju but also a strawberry flavored soju which hopefully I like it I most likely won't just because I I don't have the palate for it I don't I don't like any alcohol really how confident on like a scale of 1 to 10 are you feeling with this recipe I'm feeling like an eight or a nine oh because it's not our first time where we like well where i marinate things you know <laughs> and this we i mean we have the marinade um yeah. 30 minutes yeah i can cut steak i can cook steak so bulgogi is a very simple recipe it's mostly about the marinade that kind of i'm assuming makes or breaks the bulgogi that was one thing that we kind of had doubts about is what if we think it tastes really good but then like 
it's not actually what it's supposed to taste like or vice versa like we think like we don't like it or we think that we didn't do it good but really that's how it's supposed to taste because obviously we are not korean we have never we have never had korean, korean barbecue ever barbecue. like korean food period like we've never tried it before so fingers crossed everything turns out okay and also the plan is to watch train to busan today but we might substitute it for Itaewon class because we are on the last episode and episode 14 ended on were we on 14 or 15 we're on 14 15 is the last episode no i yes. thought we started the last one. Oh, we did we did start the last one yeah you're right so we're, we're like in, halfway through the last one we're in the middle of the last episode so that's probably what we're going to do So we marinated the bulgogi for 35 minutes? Yes, 40 minutes. And technically you are supposed to like grill it. We're gonna do it on the stove. The recipe that I'm using actually does like give you instructions for when you're pan searing it. And I will be sure to link the recipe that I used down in the description box. We actually decided to put in some of this ramen spicy sauce, the hot chicken flavor sauce. You were supposed to shake well. I just noticed it says shake well, so I did not shake it well. And I just realized this is chicken flavor. <laughs> Okay, so not gonna lie, when we got done with the marinade, it did not smell the most pleasant. But now that it is cooking and searing, it smells so good. Wow. Also, oh, there goes the fire alarm. <coughs> so there might be a reason why you're supposed to grill it outside. The camera can't pick it up, but the kitchen is extremely, extremely smoky. We have opened the windows. Would you like to say some words? No? Okay. So he bought two pounds of ribeye steak. We couldn't find pre-cut bulgogi meat. So the cut isn't perfect, but you know what? It's the taste that matters. Oh, he's trying to. That was not bad. Not bad? That's pretty good. My hair's black. He got a haircut today. <coughs> I added way too much of the hot sauce. But other than that, I don't hate it. I feel like we should have marinated it longer. longer. Next time we'll marinate it a little longer. So there's like a lot of meat in there. So we're going to leave that marinating for tomorrow and he's going to make just a few slices so that we can have for dinner tonight. Also, I forgot to add, we were going to do a side dish of rice, but we decided that we should do some ramen. So my boyfriend yesterday at Walmart got a family pack of these noodles. So we're just going to go ahead and boil that and serve this as a side dish or just with it. Sorry for the weird angle, but that's the only way I can set the phone on the table. <laughs> Sorry, I blanked. So I chickened out and only have the plain ramen noodles. I didn't actually put the spicy sauce paste in it because the meat came out pretty spicy like I said we added it to the marinade and now my boyfriend is preparing the soju as seen on Itaewon class <laughs> like I said he got the basic one like original flavor for him and then I got a strawberry soju so let me smell it you can't smell the alcohol in mine yours smells lovely mine smells like like a flavored vodka honestly it smells like strawberry. Cheers. Taste yours first. Cheers. Taste yours Ready? first. Taste yours first. Come on. I like to have him taste things because he knows my taste buds so, so well. He like knows when I'm not gonna like something or if I'm gonna like something. 
It's a lot easier to drink the vodka. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's also like a tenth of the alcohol. Or a fourth, I mean. I'm really not a drinker. I'm such a baby when it comes to alcohol. I wouldn't drink that warm. I kind of want to try yours because mine tastes Try like mine. Try mine. Does yours not taste good? Chloe, Monica, I'm doing this for you. I taste the alcohol, so I don't like it, but it's not It's not a hard terrible. to drink, but it's like, mine is like no flavor. Does yours have flavor? It tastes like a wine. It tastes like a rosé. Try it. A uh, flavorless wine. Yeah, that's lovely. I wouldn't drink it. Like, I'm not going to have more than one sip. Not a problem with it. Like, I definitely probably would recommend strawberry soju if you don't love alcohol. It's not super strong, though. I will say that. It didn't burn or yeah, anything. Burn yeah. yeah, it's it's super light. I just personally do not like alcohol. Also, yeah, this book. It's not what I expected, though. Yeah, no, same. I didn't know what to expect, though, honestly. I haven't had much alcohol in my life. But it's not terrible. Like, if my life depended on taking a shot of soju, yeah. I would do it. Do it. <laughs> I could do it. Again, we think it tastes good. Do we know if it tastes like authentic Korean cuisine? We gotta try something else that's original. Yeah. We are planning, because there is a Korean restaurant in our town. We live like super close to a really big university. Very diverse university. Very diverse university. So there's a lot of different kinds of restaurants. So I was telling him probably next weekend we are going to order some authentic Korean food. Bulgogi would, will be included and then hopefully we can tell you if our taste is similar at all or if we completely missed the mark. Would you order soju again? Would you have it, like, willingly have Only it? if I were in a place where they offered it, I guess. I don't know. I feel like... Like if it was the only thing they offered? Like, I don't know. I guess I, I would order it. I, I'd give it another shot because this is only one brand. But I don't love it. This isn't. This wouldn't be one of my favorite uh, ways to consume alcohol. He's, he's more of the alcohol drinker in this relationship. Not to say he's, like, an alcoholic or anything, no, but... but I like whiskey better like he's had more of a variety of alcohol it's not bad though thumbs up on this food that we made i don't know if it's authentic flavor yeah we followed most of the instructions oh yeah it, it, it called for three tablespoons of garlic and we did maybe one we did one i do not like garlic and it freaked me out seeing the like minced pieces of garlic so i told my boyfriend to stop <laughs> What did you all make for Corita Thon? Oh. Yeah. Let me know down in the comments. I want to know. And if you have a vlog, even better. Link it down below so that me and my boyfriend can watch. Yeah. And see what you guys cooked. And if you made bulgogi yourself. Maybe it turned out better. Maybe it turned out better. Let us know in the comments. Hi, guys. Boyfriend has grilled the bulgogi from yesterday. Also, I'm trying to hold my chopsticks better. Jin from BTS went live yesterday and apparently there is a correct way to hold chopsticks. So I'm trying to improve my chopstick holding. Boyfriend grilled the bulgogi from yesterday. It marinated for about 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours, so now we are going to try it it smelled really good i think it it smells a lot more like it had a seasoning like yeah flavored meat i like it that tastes a lot more like a barbecue than Cute. yesterday yeah did. yesterday it tasted like meat and the outside kind of tasted like what this should taste like yeah like this one feels like all like throughout the entire time you're chewing you're getting flavor whereas yesterday you got it like at the initial and, and then like the outside was just flavored but this is definitely that's it this is good. Boyfriend has got his soju coming for part two. He's willing to give it another try. I know it's gonna get warm and I'm not gonna like it after that. Right now it's at a good temperature, but it needs to be like iced. I like it, but it's like cold is a lot better. Actually, is that expired? 
That's expired, baby. This expired in November of 2019. So about seven months ago. Nine months ago. Regardless, it's expired. <laughs> so we are not going to be watching Train to Busan for Koreathon. Like I mentioned yesterday, we didn't have time to finish Itaewon class, so we are about halfway through the episode, so that's what we're going to watch because we are so into it and wow. we need to know what's happening. It's great. It's a fantastic drama. So we just finished Itaewon class. So out of five stars, what would you rate Itaewon class? I would give it five stars. Really? Yeah. I mean, the whole time. It was fun. I would give it a four stars. I had some issues with episode 15. Everything up until episode 15 was great. I love it. Episode 16 I liked for the most part, but again, just... They wrapped it up nice. They did. They wrapped it up really, really well. And actually, I feel like they even left some wiggle room for like either a season two or a season spin-off it did wrap up very nicely but at the same time i feel like there could be a couple of spin-offs or even a season two focused on other characters so i would give it a four stars and i honestly would recommend it to everyone like even my boyfriend who is not into like I super don't do soap operas nothing let alone korean soap operas yeah because that's his thing is it's like i don't know what they're saying and the subtitles do actually go by really fast sometimes yeah. if they if it's like in the middle of like a heated argument the subtitles will go by super super fast you have to watch what's going on and then you have to read the subtitles at the same time before the subtitles run off yeah and like we're the kind of people who like to watch netflix while we're eating so it's like you gotta eat the food you gotta watch what's going on on the television read. yeah so et1 class is definitely one that we focused on solely just watching we majority of the time weren't doing anything else other than watching but it was really really good i loved it Except for episode 15. Episode 15 was... I mean, yeah, it wasn't the best episode. It's probably the worst episode. Honestly, of the whole yeah. Season. But it's really good. The characters are so lovable. It's hard not to fall in love with the characters. All of them. All of them, All really. Of them. You really get in, and like I said, it really is for everyone. Like, even someone who's not into, like, soap operas or, like, super drama-filled things... This is great. It's fantastic. What are your thoughts? She said sniff, 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 sniff. That concludes this Koreathon weekend vlog. We really enjoyed it. The bulgogi was really good. Really liked it. Probably marinate for 24 hours mm -hmm. if you can or, or overnight just to make sure that the meat really absorbs the flavor. Yeah. Really fun. Be on the lookout for my reading vlog. This vlog will go up first. I'm hoping to get some reading done between today and tomorrow. I've only got two books done. So if you want to see kind of what I've been reading, what my thoughts have been, very like brief thoughts, I am planning on doing a wrap up eventually. And yeah, that's it from us. So glad we got a chance to try to make bulgogi and got to watch Itaewon class, which is so, so good. I would definitely recommend it. If you've seen it, tell me down in the comments. No spoilers though. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.